A Two Family Christmas has very quickly become one of my favourite Doris Day show episodes, maybe my favourite. I'm still really emotional from watching this. I cried on three occasions and I think those three occasions, well, one of them is a spoiler, so I'll, I'll save it for the end, but I will share the three moments that I found to be the most moving. This is the 11th episode of the second season of the Doris Day show and as you can imagine, this takes place around Christmas. And the first half of the episode is about Doris and a Christmas party at work and how people, <laughs> some people are excited about it, some people are a little bit more apprehensive because of previous work Christmas parties and we get to see how that plays out and, and I really enjoyed it, it was quite good fun and Buck also suggested to Doris that she invite Myrna and Mr Harvey and Mr Nicholson over for Christmas because none of them have family in the area, they're all single, but they're all off doing their own thing, which is fair enough. And the second half of the episode is Doris's Christmas with her second family, so not her work family, but her actual family, Buck and the boys and Nelson, and it's magical. And the house, the decor, the, the tree, the tree has to be one of the biggest Christmas trees indoor Christmas trees I've ever seen. Absolutely stunning and it's heartwarming and heartfelt and it really expertly couples the more corporate world that was introduced in season two with the homely family life that dominated season one of the Doris Day show and it, it's all about the things they do at Christmas and it's it's about the magic of family and Doris's, you know, work family and home family and it's absolutely stunning and I love it and and the music that's in it is very festive. Doris sings. It's not very often that Doris actually gets to sing, but she did and it was stunning. Magical, beautiful, great set designs, gorgeous costumes. There are a lot of red. Doris wears quite a bit of red, understandably, and it is just really quintessential Christmas charm and I adored it. So I'll, I'll mention the three moments that kind of made me cry. It, it's a very, you know, obviously there's a lot of comedy in this, it's quite a funny episode, but mostly it, it's heartwarming and sentimental and I love Doris Day and it just, it hit me. So these are, well one, the first one's a spoiler for something. Um, actually before I get in with this I do want to say it's no secret that Doris Day does the best facial expressions and she's got this thing where she crosses her eyes, so points her eyes inwards every now and then. And she did it when she was drinking the punch at the office Christmas party and just the facial expression. It was just the most wonderful thing ever. Absolutely loved it. So a spoiler for something that happens and then I guess the other bits that made me cry were not so much a spoiler but I need to explain what happens so we can get there so the first thing that made me cry was when we hear the car carolers outside and I thought okay this is really lovely and then they open the door and it's Mr Harvey and Mr Nicholson and Myrna and it was just so beautiful and obviously it's beautiful in the episode but it's it's rare that we get the whole core cast on screen at any one time and this is what we get here and it was a really lovely celebration of the cast and of the show and bringing everything together against this this beautiful Christmas backdrop. So I cried <laughs> just a little bit and then I cried when they're singing Silent Night around the piano. We do actually have all of them in the frame at, at, at one time which was, was gorgeous and just obviously Doris sung so beautifully and it was so... I, I'm going again. Yeah. It it really, it's so beautiful. And then the third time I cried, I think just because my emotions were high at this point, not necessarily because it was particularly emotional, but at the very, very end of the episode, quite uniquely, Doris addresses the camera. She addresses the viewer. And I just, I lost it at that point. I thought I can't, I can't cope with this anymore. It's far too emotional, but it was, it was beautiful. And it just quickly became, as I said, one of my all time favorite episodes so far and I, I kind of wonder how this episode would have played out if we still had Leroy and Juanita I feel like maybe it wouldn't have been I feel I don't know I feel like it probably would have been as emotional but I think just having that clear divide of Doris's blood family and Doris's work family meant that this worked really well but I do still miss Leroy uh, <laughs> I also I'd love to know 
there's a bit where they put some food down on this table and Nelson goes up and tries to eat some. I'd love to know if that was intentional or if they had to ad lib a little bit in response to this dog trying to eat the food. I'm not sure. It could have gone either way, but it's beautiful. Gorgeous Christmas episode. Magical. Really emotional. I absolutely adored it.